Agents, AGKCG here, and today we are going to get rid of the dual fisheye lens look where there's two giant circles and you're trying to make a panorama 360 photo from them. So here we go. This is using Lightroom and the Theta 360 Stitcher. I'll put a link in the comments to the Theta 360 Stitcher so you can upload that to Lightroom as well. But uh, let's get to it. So what you do is you upload your dual fisheye to Lightroom and then once you're in Lightroom you select your photo that you want to be dual that you want to turn into panorama uh, you can do let's do one at a time then I'll show you right after this how to do a few uh, the issue with doing a few sometimes it doesn't work so you need to pay attention to which ones you select so let's select this one I just do right click Edit in, edit in Rico Theta Stitcher. And then you want to edit copy with the Lightroom adjustments. And then after a couple seconds, it'll pop up with the uh, panoramic view. And this is where you can do some adjustments and all that with your photo. If you need to move it up, down, if you get your pitch, your roll, your yaw, that's basically just moves everything around. You have a crooked picture, you can work on it here. But everything looks good. Camera visibility reduction. You turn it on you can see that it it kind of works on this bottom area but honestly it doesn't ever get rid of everything I need so if you uh, follow this link I'll show you how to get rid of your tripods other things objects in your 360 photos but this looks pretty good looks straight I like everything how it looks I hit OK now you just wait a few minutes down on the for a few seconds and make sure down on the bottom right here so this is the result. This is what it was. And this is what it turned to. Quick helpful tip. Uh, when you're editing in Lightroom, make sure over here on the right, make sure you have your transform, your adjustments off. I sometimes use presets and I forget to turn those off. So just today I created a preset with that off so I don't have to think about it again. Um, because you don't want it adjusting things because when you turn it into this panoramic view, nothing's ever going to line up right. In the end, you get a perfect panorama that you can use for editing, put in your tours, share, do what you want. If you want to do more than just one, you want to select a few. I suggest not doing more than five. Uh, anytime I do more than five, it doesn't work. So you just shift click you select the five you want right click edit in Rico theta stitcher edit okay when you click right click and then you download the theta stitcher it'll go through each one and create a whole new photo to put the panorama on so you wait a little bit once it gets through all five it'll pop up the first one to verify now if you think every picture is going to be straight crooked you can just you can just go right up to where it says batch processing you click that and then it'll process each one you just wait if you do one one at a time you hit process and next and it's very very sensitive sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so it's up to you uh, I always do the batch processing when I use a 360 camera because 99% of the time it's pretty straight and if I look at it later and it's not, I can go back and fix it later. But let's batch process it and see if all five get worked out. See if all five, see if all five become panoramas. All right, first one worked. And you just wait. You watch on the bottom as they transform. The first two worked. Three worked. Four worked. And five worked awesome. So all five got turned into panoramas and I'll move on to my next one to continue the process. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comment below. As always, make it to KCG, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next video. And I'm going to do my best to start looking at the camera because I keep looking at myself instead of the camera. All right. Thanks for sticking around.